Yes, it was definitely overwhelming. Um, it was a uh, qu quite a large cruelty case with around 34, 35 dogs. We ended up taking in 12. Um, our main concern right now has been, uh, you know, making sure they're medically up to date and sound as a lot of them came in in really rough condition. Uh, but hopefully, you know, we'll be moving forward with getting them into homes that are stable and healthy in the next couple of weeks. All these dogs from the Tiverton case are in shelters all throughout the state, which we could not be more thankful for. A lot of people pulled through for us um, and we needed like housing for them pretty quickly for the situation that they were in. We did have about 25 dogs already in shelter with only nine free kennels. We were able to, you know, get some dogs adopted, free up some space, um, make some accommodations and get them to have 12 of them come here. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle to try and find places to be able to house the dogs in such short notice, but we did have quite a few shelters pulling through for us that were helping as well. Donations are always wonderful. Um, you can always fill out our foster applications. We're always looking for fosters. Um, some of these dogs are definitely going to need long-term fosters. Um, you know, we, we always need volunteers to come and help us do cleaning as well. Things have been um, quite messy, so it takes a longer time to clean with this many dogs. So anyone who's more than willing to come and help us with that is awesome as well. The news um, broke and we got an overwhelming amount of support from already supporters, new supporters, volunteers. It was really wonderful to see the shelters that did step up, step up, because without them we, we would have been struggling to house all of these dogs appropriately. So it's really um, wonderful to see the community also coming together for these dogs as well.